Yo, what is going on, you ungrateful Umbreon? Today we're playing some games with the Big Blounds. Now, this deck got a lot of new cards to add to it in the new set. Or just like, I didn't get that many new cards, I guess, but it just, it's a lot of boost to the deck, I feel like. Quick Ball being one of the main ones. Another way for us to discard energy into the discard pile and find basic Pokemon. So it's easier for us to set up our Naganadels being the main thing. Um, also, Professor's Research, just uh, want to discard cards, go fast. This is, what, this is what this deck loves, is just trying to go fast as possible. Um, so those are the two main additions to the deck. I think Big Blounds got uh, extremely better uh, than what it was uh, not that long ago. I don't know quite how good the deck is overall right now, but it definitely improved quite a bit. Um, and this is a very turbo list. I got four Acrobike in here. I actually play no Gust Effects in this current build, and it's been working out just fine. Uh, I'm not sure I still don't. I, I'm not sure I still want to play with zero gust effects in the deck, but that's what I've been rocking currently, um, and it's been it's been all right. It's been pretty good. It's been um, almost about what I expected. I thought it would be a little bit better. Um, still have a couple things to work out with the list, but this is where I'm at currently with the big blinds with the release of Sword and Shield. And let's go ahead. Let's try it out. All right, into the first one. We'll go against Will Ketchum, bro. Will Ketchum, O9 Dragon Fairy, Dragon not Fairy, Dragon Psychic Fire. Um, I've actually only seen one fairy Pokemon uh, since the new set came out. I played against one Guardian on the other day. But besides that, I have not played against a single uh, fairy Pokemon. All right, we got that Poipul start. Looking good. Darts of the hands, nice. We're going second. We usually want to try and get off. It's a mirror match. Oh my gosh. Other people are playing Big Blacephalon. What the heck? All right, that's fine with me. Uh, it's going to be an interesting one. Looks like our opponent is they're probably not dead drawing. Um, Burst Jax is okay immediately. It does allow us to then use uh, Beast Energy to take a knockout on a Blacephalon after we KO our first Blacephalon. So we can play for that. I'm going to start with Acrobike here. Get an Acrobike. And we'll Acrobike again. Um, see what we get. We did get a Professor Research. This means we don't have to put to Dene in play, which is maybe what I would have to go get with that Quick Ball otherwise. Um, so we're going to get rid of this. Just get ourselves a Poiple. Then maybe just grab the Ditto with the Quick Ball. Um, I don't want too much energy in the discard pile, actually. So actually, I'm going to get rid of the the Ganadel, and I'm gonna grab myself a Blacephalon to attach to, and then we're gonna we're gonna research before we Ultra Space because we do want to see like more than just like potentially one. Uh, we want to increase our chance of seeing stuff of Ultra Space. Okay, there we go, Ultra Space. Maybe get another Poipul here because our active Poipul could definitely get knocked out, <clears throat> and we want more Poipuls. Um, I'm not gonna data change yet because there's no reason to do it, and we're just gonna pass over to our opponent, see what they come at us with. They could hit us with the mind blown knockout if they get a welder maybe it's just going to be the burst gx from our opponent and in which case we will mind blown knock out our opponent uh they have the welder so they have both options here they can go with the mind blown the burst gx they got the naganadel gx for the draw power yeah i'm curious where they're going to go with this the the what's it called the knockout on my active is pretty annoying i'm not going to lie if they knocked out my active i would be that would be it would suck to lose a poiple basically it, it's not nice to ever lose a poiple i want to keep my poiples around they're really cool guys um, I'll introduce you guys sometime to them. Um, they're really great. Uh, another Blacephalon GX. So we're going to be trading back and forth. GX for GX uh, for GX. Yeah, we're definitely going to knock out their Blacephalon GX next turn. No question about that. Um, that is going to happen. They're not going to stop us from doing it. And then we're trying to set up... Uh, oh, we'll only have access to... No, no, no. We could try and set up a third charging up uh, Nikiana now. Get another Poiple. I think... You no, know, I think we maybe prize our fourth Poiple, actually. We can get our Ditto. And we can try and get two charging up. Maybe three charging up. Okay, they do play the uh, Island Amulet. Um, but that means we can take these knockouts with the Ganadels. So we definitely want to set up a lot of charging up the Ganadels for sure. That's going to be our main thing we're looking to set up because they do play the Amulets. All right, so um, let's go with Treasure Way of Fire. Get the charging up. Wait, we do have the last Poi Pool in the deck. Okay, we're going to get a charging up. Just confirm we get that. I'm going to Ultra Space, get a Poipul. Attach, Evolve, Evolve, and place it with Heat Factory, or should I just Ultra Space again next turn and then Heat Factory? I'm gonna hold the hand because I have the B string in the hand right now. So when they do knock us out, we can B string into it. We can use this B string for sure. Um, I think that's what I wanna do. I think we're gonna go with the Mind Blown. We're gonna leave the Ultra Space so we get to use out of the Ultra Space. So mind blown. One, two, three, four. Knock out. <clears throat> and even though they have the amulets, and I don't play the amulets, we're definitely going to be a little bit more consistent of a build compared to them. And we can just take the knockouts on these things with amulets with the 
the charging up uh, Naganadels. I guess they can respond to my charging up Naganadel with their charging up Naganadel then, but then I can respond with my charging up Naganadel to their charging up Naganadel with my Naganadel. Uh, it'll get interesting. They're also down to charging up Naganadel, just like I am. Otherwise, I would like to have definitely built up four charging up Naganadels, because it could just get into a situation where we just trade back and forth with charging up Naganadels, and that would get really weird. Um, yeah, that would be really, really weird. Um, here they go, Beast Ring into play. Yeah, we're not going to be able to shut off their Beast Ring on the next turn. Because we're going to be knocking out a non-GX here. Um, or it's effectively a non-GX because of the Island Challenge Amulet. So yeah, we're not going to be drawing that extra extra prize card. Oof, there's the resetting hole. Bumping my Ultra Space. That is super rude. Maybe let's throw another Ultra Space down so we can draw more cards. There's their Oracorio. Can't punish any of these GXs on the bench though because I don't play Great Catcher. Definitely something to consider adding in here, like I said. Some kind of gust effects. There's an Ultra Conversion. Getting rid of a Poiple. So they're going to be down one more Naganadel because of that. There's a B string. They are going to lose four energy here. Looks like they're just going to get rid of the four off the active. And they said, like, well, we can just respond with a turning point. We don't have to use a GX to knock this thing out. And then actually, that also allows us to use turning point on the next turn with the beast energy if we can find it and take another knockout on this Placephalon. Um, and then all we have to do is set up a last Placephalon GX to take one more knockout. Unless this guy gets an amulet. And then we don't even need the beast energy. We just turning point knock it out. Uh, but they do need a lot of energy every time if they want to keep using Blacephalon. If they go into an Aganadel, which they could do, um, they're a little bit behind on the... Uh, it looks like they'll be a little bit behind on the energy in play. We'll see what actually happens here. Um, so yeah, it has 100, minus 100 HP because of the amulet. So turning point, 80 damage, exactly enough. We'll go ahead and be string. Oh, we are running out of energy in the deck. That is not good. We're basically out of energy. Um, okay. Key Factory, hoping to hit a Welder here. No welder. Did find some more charging ups though. This is our last turn to use beast rings. Charging up again. Hmm. This got interesting for sure. I'm gonna go ahead and treasure away. Fires, take a look at the deck. Could go with our own Oracorio, but I almost just don't want to put a GX in play for my opponent to take advantage of. Um, for two turns. I want to really get that. Well, I have to use the Dedene. Unless I draw well. Unless I draw well, I can use the Heat Factory again, maybe. So we're just going to take the Naganadel G. Uh, we could take Oracorio, use Oracorio's ability to draw cards. Um, how many? We have to apprise a lot of energy. Let's see. 4, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Oh, there's 13, 14. Oh, 13, 14. So we have two energy prize right now. Okay. Um, could do the Dance of Tribute. That leaves a GX open for our opponent, though, to take advantage of. Um, so I think we don't. I think we do take it. Um, however, I'm not going to bench it this turn. I'm definitely going to try and hope to get into the beast energy without having to use it. Um, attach here. And I think we're just going to go with turning point. Yeah. Turning point for the knockout. Only one prize card because of the amulet. Um, but that's fine. Let's see what we get. There's a fire energy. Okay, so we top deck a welder. It's going to be pretty good. We do have quite a, We have four supporters left in the deck. So we actually have a decent amount of supporters. There's only one fire left in the deck. Um, so that's going to get a little bit awkward. Here comes their turning point. And again, they still have access to Beast Rings. Uh, got a pretty big hand. They probably have access to Welder as well. Would have definitely been nice. Like I said, I wanted to try and set up like as many charging up as possible. But losing this first charging up guy kind of stunk. Because um, then we weren't able to set up that last charging up. We can still make this into a Lacephala or an Aganid LGX. Uh, so we can still pull off that if we want to. Uh, we'll see where it goes from here, though. They're going to knock out this. This is why we can't use another GX. If we attack with a GX next turn, we kind of just lose. So... See, we're gonna have a four fire in here with the charging up, charging up. Yeah, it's gonna get interesting. Um, <laughs> it's gonna get very interesting. We're actually like looking like we're just gonna run out of energy in play and not be able to knock this guy out. Actually, that's the way it's looking. We'll see how it actually plays out. But if I had to guess, that's how it's gonna go. Bailed quick ball. There's a treasure to get rid of their heat factory. Um, but us having more charging ups means we will get to attack. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. This is very interesting. They play a recycle. So did I see that correct? An energy recycler. Okay. And then Oracorio for three. Maybe they'll just deck out. They keep they keep drawing cards. So yeah, like, but I don't want to put any GXs in play. They probably play a great catcher. Or they also have this guy that can use the Venom Shot to snipe. Um, but they're weldering over here. Let's see. How many energy do they have? Up? They're six gone. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. And then, okay, 13, so they have like three more to work with, so they could still get off that Venom Shot. So I don't want to risk getting Venom Shot if I bench my Oracorio as well. That's also a risk. Um, so go Naganadel. Hopefully draw a Welder. There's a Welder. Okay, that's an insane draw. 
Um, do, 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 do. Um, so let's go charging up. Yeah, fourth, fourth charging up would have been super nice. Unfortunately, turn one discard, but you know, gotta see some other cards as well. So can't have it all. Gonna weld our one to the ditto. So just one. Three. There's a Blacephalon. We don't have a Welder for the Blacephalon, which is what we're looking for. But we could find one and get him going. So we do need to go with just the turning point for the knockout. Not going to attach the energy. We need to try and Welder to the Blacephalon at some point. Draw a prize card here. Another fire is pretty good. Now, once again, we just don't want to put a GX in play. We're just going to avoid putting a GX in play until we have to. Uh, they're going to take the knockout here with turning point, it looks like. Oh, no. So they'll take the knockout with turning point. We'll take the knockout. We could try to take the knockout with Blacephalon on that turn. Then they might not have enough fire energy in play to actually use Mind Blown to take a knockout. Unless they have like double customs or something. There's a charging up. They have to have an attach for turn as well. They'll take the knockout. And then we have to respond with Mind Blown knockout. Um, and then Burst GX to win the game on the next turn. Yeah, I think that's our game plan here. Now that I'm looking at it, that looks like the way this is going to have to go for us. Seems fine to me though. Should be able to pull it off. We'll see what else they got here. They don't have much energy left. Let's see, they got a 6 in here, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Um, that's 5. Oops, I miscount. There's 13 energy in play so far. They have to attach here. Uh, but if they have a welder, they have, they've only played 3. Oh, they played all 4 welder. So they can only get 1 fire in play. But if they, they do have their beast energy left, and I don't see it here. Yeah, they do have their beast energy left, which means that would be enough for them to win the game. So, uh, yeah, even if we find this Welder here for the Blacephalon GX, we do actually lose to the, the Welder. All right. Um, so we're going to put down GXs now. It just doesn't matter. Can't draw two prizes this turn. Uh, Burst GX never makes any sense. Uh, so, yeah, we got to go with the go with the Dance. Do we draw. All the way this. Check the deck. Grab this. There's two Welder in there. There's a Fire in there as well. Um, now we could um, Ken Heat Factory. We can also Ultra Conversion. Could also Dead A Change first. Um, then we don't get the Heat Factory. So we're in Heat Factory right now. I think that's the next thing we do. Heat Factory. Um, Ultra Space. Use Ultra Space. Grab this guy. Ultra Conversion next. Get rid of this guy. One, two, three. There's the Welder to the Vocephalon. One, two, three. Got the fire energy. I'm going to retreat. Uh, I'm going to charge it up. And we win next turn with Burst GX, but if they have Beast Energy, they win on their turn. Um, I don't see why they wouldn't ever have the Beast Energy here, so I think we have lost this one. The Battle of the Big Blounds. Uh, it was close overall. Um, we kept it close, especially because I think we're at a pretty, dig pretty big disadvantage. We don't have the... I don't know, it allows me to use the Ganadels. If I had one more... No, nah, we are always behind. Um, kept it close, but definitely unfavored, I think, um, for sure with the way both of our lists are built. Definitely an unfavored matchup. Kept it close, I get, yeah, if they whiff uh, Beast Energy here, we're fine. If they don't, we lose. We'll see what they have. Do they have the Beast Energy? I said they can't Welder anymore. They're kind of used all four of their Welders. Uh, do they have Burst GX? Oh, they just have Burst GX. Oh my gosh, what am I even thinking here? We just lose every time here. Yeah, there's no way for us ever to win. <laughs> they had Burst GX the whole time. For some reason, I thought they used it in the earlier turns. All right, close one. In the Blounds matchup, taking an L. Hopefully, we don't play another mirror match where they got amulets in the next one. Okay, into another one we go. Uh oh. Not like this. Okay. Oh! We're live. All right. 3, 2, 9, 1, 4. Um, we do want to go first. Um, give her time to get a couple point pulls in place. Set them up for the turn two. And so on. Gonna open the ditto. Uh, bench the point pull. It'll be all right. All right. Let's see what else we top deck here. Turn it is a quick ball that could get us to Dene. We don't need to Dene yet. I am just going to go Ultra Space, use Ultra Space, grab Big Blown, bench it, and burst, and attach to it, I think. I don't think I'm going to do anything else. Not burst, just attach and pass. And yeah, we're set up to use Burst GX on the next turn if we want to, or if they end up with like a Jirachi and they're active. They are playing Malamar. Actually, they're probably, most Malamars these days are the Tag Team Malamar, the Mewtwo Tag Team Malamar with a bunch of different GXs and stuff like that. Stinger uh, going on, so yeah, not quite the uh, 
tried and, tried and true Malamar with the Tina and the spell tags that we're all used to seeing. It's definitely changed up quite a bit. There's the Jirachi. We're probably definitely going to go with Naka Jirachi with Mind Blown versus using Burst GX and try and save Burst GX for the late game. Because um, we can always, we can potentially get more value out of it then. So definitely going to wait for that. Um, could have got down, I mean, I could have treasured away the fire for a third point here. But if I top deck a Welder or something like that, I think it's best to keep that fire in hand. I was like thinking about putting the fire in play. And I definitely want to try and um, knock out a Jirachi if they end up with a Jirachi Interactive, which they're probably going to. Uh, this game, there's their Giratina. Probably not going to see a whole lot of use out of the Giratina, though. They're going to have to use the bigger dudes to make the difference. Uh, because without spell tags, which they most definitely don't play, because they are playing the tag team build, um, we just get too far ahead um, against Tina if we draw the first prize card, which it definitely looks like we're going to. No matter what, we're going to burst GX. Even if for some reason we can't knock out this Jirachi with Mind Blown, which I would definitely prefer to a burst GX. Um, I prefer to to knock it out with the mind blown. Um, we will burst GX if we. It's our only way to draw a prize card though. There's communication. So they're setting up okay. Two inkes so far. Yeah, getting rid of that baby. But they do still play that. They do still play the baby blown. We'll see what they uh, what they grab here. Let's see what they have in store for us. Um, resetting home march out. Oof, unfortunate. Goodbye, ultra space. Um, I do appreciate you sticking around for the little little while that you did. But I guess it's your time to go. Although they can use him to attack with as well. I mean, that's maybe why they got him. They're maybe going to use him to fight me. Uh, and actually hit me with the... Uh, use him to fight me. Use the March Shadow to actually attack with. There's another NK. Okay, so three NK turn one. Yeah, it doesn't get much better than that. You actually don't even want to ever set up for NK. Or rarely want to set up for Malamar. So, yeah. Not going to see him probably reach for a Ditto or another NK or anything like that right now. Alright, they are going with the Giratina setup, so they're going to be using that guy early on. Maybe they do play spell tags. I don't know. I saw the Stealthy Hood. We've seen a bunch of GXs. Okay, they do play a spell tag. That is definitely not expected. I did not expect the the spell tag at all there. That is interesting. That's going to be... Yeah, I mean, the deck is looking definitely a little bit clunkier. Uh, hopefully, we can take advantage of that at this point then. Alright, Quick Ball. Grab myself the Dene. And then treasure away a fire again. And we're going to get another charging up Naganadel, I think. Want to make use of the charging ups early on. We could have gone after Naganadel GX for a little bit of consistency, but I don't think it's necessary right now. A six. Get a Poipal. Looks like we maybe should have gone for uh, one of those uh, ultra conversions. And we're charging up. And charging up again. Then retreat, and we got the mind blown. Just need to discard one for the knockout. There we go. Goodbye, Jirachi. Got that first prize card. Um, they're come up, hit us. Oh, they might not even get the hit with Garatina. We'll see actually how good their turn goes. They have zero energy in the discard pile, I believe. Yeah, zero energy in the discard pile. They got zero energy on Garatina, and they might just whiff the attack this turn. And if they do, even if they, if they do hit the attack, I think we actually burst GX because they're gonna hit us for 130, and if we knock it out, then spell tag knocks us out. So that would be like a good time to use burst GX. Then we get a new Blacephalon into the active to knock this one out and the spell tag damage go on us. And then even if they hit us for 130, they won't knock out our Blacephalon GX. So that's going to be the game plan. Um, also look to set up this guy's Venom Shot, maybe, uh, if we can find the Beast Energy. So if the Beast Energy is in the deck and not prized, we can definitely look to get a Beast Energy on our Naganadel GX. And set up Venom Shots to kind of play around spell tags as well. We basically just don't want to pop the spell tags at all costs. Which they do still play despite being the <laughs> tag team build. Um, yeah, they got everything going on in this list. They got the Stealthy Hood, they got the Spell Tags, they got the Mewtwo, they got the Trevnor stuff still. So, um, yeah, they have quite a bit, quite literally everything in this list that you could possibly want to have. Um, of course, that always, is always going to make decks a little bit clunkier. So, we'll actually see how much it hurts them here. They got their first energy in the discard pile, finally, uh, with that Psychic. But they need a little bit more than that. So, we'll see if they can actually find, you know, the second Psychic, two Malamars. There's a Fion. Um, he's always going to be a little bit annoying. I guess we give up the Dedenne here. Yeah, I would push Dedenne to the. Um, yeah, I don't just want to give up and again. I would push Dedenne to the active. If they're gonna be, if they're using Fion right now. I'm pushing up Dedenne and being like, all right. I don't think you have the attack first off, um, and you can't one shot him. So and we'll see here what they actually have. Could just put him to sleep actually with hypnosis. That would be annoying enough, and then we'd have to hope to hit the heads to be able to move him. Um, yeah, that would be annoying enough. Them just actually hitting heads on. Uh, or me just hitting, or me just hitting tails on the sleep. That would be annoying. Them going with the hypnosis to begin with, forcing me to have heads. 
I would be annoying enough to begin with. Let's see what they actually have. We do have the Weller, so we can retreat our Dedenne and attack the turn and knock out this NK. No problem. Just need to actually do it. There's a Psychic Recharge. Yeah, they're definitely not attacking with Giratina this turn. There's no way they have it in their hand anymore. Um, so we don't have to worry about that. I'm not getting hit by the Giratina. It's just uh, hopefully we find it. And we should. We're going to draw at least six cards because we're going to go Welder here. And then we'll do Ultra Conversion. Yeah, we're going to draw at least six cards. Should be easy to find a another Fire Energy. All right, draw for turn. Welder to Dedenne. All right. Currently whiffed. I'm going to use this, and I'm actually going to take the Poipal out of the deck, because I know that's the only thing else I want this turn. Conversion. Don't want to draw into the Poipal. Two, three, and we whiffed a Fire Energy. Okay. All right. Well, um, I'm not going to say that stinks, but that kind of stinks. I definitely did not want to burst GX this turn, but it looks like we have to burst GX this turn. All right. Going to bench the Poipal. Going to... Retreat to the Blacephalon. Charging up. That was, not gonna lie, a little bit unexpected. Expected, you know, drawing six cards, playing 15 fire and a beast. 16 energy total that we would see an energy, but I guess not. So I'm gonna go with the Burst GX. We did hit a fire, which is kind of cool. Put it up on the, the Ganondel GX. Like I said, sniping is a pretty cool thing we can do with the Venom Shot as long as we find our beast energy. This does require us to find our beast, beast energy. Um... But yeah, I don't know where this goes from here now. That was actually a pretty big whiff. And definitely makes it a lot harder for us to kind of do... To, it kind of ruins the flow of the game. Because now when he comes up with his Giratina uh, and hits me 130, if I knock it out, the spell tag knocks me out, which I definitely don't want. Uh, but I don't have Burst GX to kind of play around that, force him to hit me again, and then go from there into V-String turn. Um, so I, I either have to Bursting Burn it, which doesn't feel great, or I just have to kind of take the hit. But then that also doesn't feel great, so I don't know where I go from there if I do take that hit. Um, yeah, it's kind of awkward for sure. We'll see. Maybe our opponent doesn't even have the attack. I didn't kill the Inke. One of the big things about Malamar is usually their way to find draw support is through Jirachi. Um, yeah, there's just the Hypnosis. So it looks like they didn't have that much going on anyways. We woke up. Okay, so it turns out uh, we're just fine here. Um, gonna take a charging up off that. Gonna go ahead and uh, play a treasure. Get rid of Ultra Space because I really don't care if they put what's it called in play. I would be actually happy if they had what's it called in play. Uh, and get rid of this to get this. Literally completely thin out the deck of all of the Pokemon and get rid of one of the Blacephalons. We only need three. Um, sometimes we don't even need that, so no reason to hold on to all of them. Finally found a Fire Energy. Mind blown. Get rid of those two. Eh, we can keep that one there. Let's get rid of those two. Mind blown. Knock out this NK. 100 damage. <laughs> We'll free up our opponent. Yeah, that's one of the things with Malamar. Usually their way to find draw supporters is Jirachi. So even though I didn't take a knockout there, um, their way to find draw support that turn was through Stellar Wish. So they didn't get to send up Stellar Wish, use Stellar Wish, uh, and they got stuck for a turn. Um, and yeah, our opponent's uh, seemingly fairly clunky Malamar is uh, being fairly clunky right now and uh, definitely hurting our opponent's uh, consistency right now. They're just having trouble trouble getting going, and that's, that's fine with me. That's kind of what I expected a little bit um, from our opponent gonna have trouble and we know that they don't have a whole ton going on in the hand they got the one card haven't played a supporter in two turns so actually i'm just gonna go ahead and bursting burn this and it not knock it out not let them use the spell tag to knock this back out um, yeah i'm just gonna bursting burn be like all right you can either attack through the confusion or you can sit there and stay confused and get burned or you can retreat to the jirachi which also sounds equally terrible when we know their one card hand isn't very good so yeah we're just going with the bursting burn here we'll see what our top deck is it is a treasure can you use this i don't think there's anything to grab nope nothing to grab I'm going to Ultra Conversion away the Naganadel. Just see some more cards. Uh, I'm going to Acrobike. See some more cards. Grab the Beast Energy. I'm not going to throw it down yet. Um, we're definitely thinking about throwing it down next turn, though. And yeah, Bursting Burn. Like I said, we're, we're just going to chill. I don't really care. I am not going to pop that spell tag. If you want to go through the flip through the confusion and you get heads, good for you. That is fine with me. Not really that big of a deal. Not popping the spell tag just to have it knock out my Blacephalon. I'll pop the spell tag when it's less um, less advantageous for my opponent. Because right now it's too advantageous for my opponent. I don't want to give them that advantage at all. Not at all. So we're just going to chill. Hang out. Have a good time. Definitely would have liked to have used Burst GX. This is the turn where I would have liked to have used Burst GX. Because I mean, it's really leaving it up to a 50-50. And they could win the 50-50. So if they do knock me out, that would suck. I don't really get anything for it. So if we had knocked out that... I mean, I guess we got the turn where they didn't get to do anything anyway. So it kind of 
breaks even there, I guess. So it doesn't really matter that we whiffed that turn and had to burst GX and then use Mind Blown. Um, I guess, yeah, we're, it still puts us ahead no matter what. But this is where the turn that I wanted to use Burst GX is like, oh, they come up with the Tina with the spell tag. They hit us. All right, I want to use Burst GX. They're going for the flip. They get the heads. All right, that's fine. See where they put the damage. I think I'm just going to go into the Ganadel and I'm just going to snipe this Malamar. Um, we could also snipe the Jirachi uh, and then take away their pivot option. Which seems pretty good, but if they can't use, if they don't have Malamars to use, I think they just lose the game. So I think I'm going to go after the Malamars. Hitting their own Giratina, still stuck in the active, still burned and confused. Yeah, I'm just going to go Venom Shot, Snipe a Malamar. And that's the game plan here. Going to Ganadel. See what we draw for turn. Hopefully an energy. We have just been seeing a lack of energy here. Alright. Beast Ring. Um, put one more there, put two more there. Oof, we're running out of energy, actually. How am I going to get energy onto hand? Three, six, seven, eight, nine. And then how many are in here? 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I have 15. One more prized. Huh, so maybe I should have even need Beast Ring this at all. I want to go attach, discard to. We're going to put an extra one here. going to throw down the... Beast energy. Gonna put this guy down. Gonna beast ring. The last two onto the Cephalon GX. And then I'm gonna go ahead and Venom Shot the Malamar. Discard two. Uh, maybe I need one more. Well, hopefully we draw one more off our prize cards. I guess is what I'm hoping for here. There it is. All right, we can Venom Shot again, and then we can follow up with Mind Blown. No matter what they said into their active, we can just Mind Blown it. We also have uh, the Ganondels we can attack with. I didn't charge enough there. I should have charged up once. Um, we could have even used a Ganondel that turn to knock out the Giratina with Turning Point. We could have done that as well, actually. I could have just Turning Point knocked out the Tina. I feel like chasing down the Malamars is pretty good. We can Turning Point next turn if we really wanted to. Um, well, we probably don't want a Turning Point next turn. We can Turning Point from here on out if we really needed to. We can definitely use some Turning Points. Um, probably just going to Venom Shot again. Get rid of the next Malamar, and then Mind Blown, finish him up. If the Mewtwo ever makes his way into the active, Mind Blown, win the game, uh, so on. Looking pretty good for us. I don't see us losing this one uh, at all. Yeah, I don't know how we'd ever lose at this point. <laughs> it looks really, really good for us. Like I said, chase this. We can actually just snipe that to Dene if they put it down. It looks like they're going to put the to Dene down. We'll see. Yep, there it is, the Dene change. Um, draw six. We only have three energy. In the, where's all of our energy at? It's just we haven't had it gotten on the Blazephalons, I guess. I'm like, wait, I could actually like run out of attackers here. Um, and I guess they're hoping that we whiff our last energy. Uh, I'm sure they counted and they're like, okay, they have either one psychic, which means they don't have another fire usually. Oh, there is the Whirlpool suction. That's fine. We'll just send up a Ganadel charging up retreat. Once again, snipe that to Denny. It means they don't have bench base for the Mew. I guess after they put the Fiona on the bottom of the deck. They could get a Mew onto the bench, though. So they're not completely out of Mew options. Um, we'll see if they have it. Zero Psychic in the discard pile. So if I do actually KO this Malamar instead of the Giratina... Okay, there we go. Psychic to the discard pile. I was going to say, they can't actually charge in up this turn, which means they wouldn't. They maybe wouldn't even be able to attack with this Mew next turn. Uh, but now they're good to go. They can attack with the Mew all they want. Ooh, they could actually go with... No, I don't see Gengar Mimikyu in here. They could have gone with Gengar Mimikyu. Well, I guess we would respond with just a knockout with the stuff. So that actually doesn't sound very good. Uh, currently, we knock out the Dene. Yeah, they counted energy. They're like, okay, we're hoping they don't have that last fire. If they do have one more fire, we do have the last fire. So we're just waiting until we can use it. Opponents taking their time. They think they have to flip through the confusion again. I don't see another play. They could retreat to Jirachi, get a Stellar Witch if they wanted to. Um, yeah, there's the Whirlpool. Just going to set up this guy. That's fine with me. Can retreat him whenever we want with the charging up and then retreat. See what our opponent goes for now. So reset stamp. Okay, we lose our fire energy, but there is the Viridian Forest in place, so we're going to be able to get it right back. No problem. Just going to go get it again. We're going to need a little bit more than that to stop us. Um, although they were getting close. They were getting pretty close. I guess if they could switch and use... Nah, I can't even come up with anything for them to do at this point. I, can't, I, I, can't, I literally can't come up with anything. They need to get a Mew down, protect their Dene, and then, even then... It's still not looking great for our opponent. We'll see. Quick ball gets rid of the Giratina. Grabs the Fion again. If they use it again, we're just going to send this guy up. It's going to be the same thing. I don't think that answers anything for them. It's just going to be the pass. All right, I am going to go Verdian Forest. 
Get rid of the quick ball and get the fire. That's what they were hoping. They had to pretty much hope we didn't have. We do have it. And we're just gonna snipe the Dene and win the game. And that's it. A dub here for the big blinds. Lost the mirror match. Of course, it's big blinds versus big blinds. Uh, so big blinds still won. And then we picked up a dub here against the tag team Mewtwo. Um, which wasn't even really able to use any attack teams. They used the Tina once. They got stuck in the mid game. Their list is definitely on the clunkier side. Took advantage of that. Oh, there was two fired prize. I guess I miscounted. There was three fires prize. The last three prize cards were fires. And that's going to do it for this video on the big blinds. Like I said, I think the deck improved a ton with the quick balls and professor research editions um the deck's looking really good right now compared to what it was looking like before sword and shield so i definitely if you're a big blinds fan try it out with some of the new cards see what you think um yeah hope you enjoyed the video if you did give it a like if you enjoyed the content be sure to subscribe have a good day thanks for watching and peace